Kopex two box break of 1920 series one. Good luck. But yeah, eight feet. Going back to what you said of just how some people getting in a battle. It. it I don't know why everyone is so defending of companies that are sometimes are not the like. You're essentially defending companies that are going through fraud cases or are massively late on their gradings. Like, I don't know. Is that supposed to be better? Like, good for you. And a pure energy of David Pasternak. Young Guns of Jesper Bokfist. Canvas of Ristolainen. But what I find funny though, blue shirts. McDavid! Uh, the. Not the retros, whatever you want to call them. What I find funny is if people use the only complaint, Portrait of Goudreau for the Cow. or another team, is that maybe they don't sell as well. So hold on, that overvalues the lateness and the fraud that goes on by the other companies. Abramov, Young Guns. Like, it's funny, it's like, that's their be-all and end-all. That, to me, is too funny when they say that. Shooting Stars of Matthews. Uh, Aiden, that is very true. Pure Energy of Connor McDavid. That is very true. I, I think it's, I just think it's comical. Young Guns, Mario Ferraro. Canvas of Alex Ovechkin. Pure Energy of Cam Atkinson. Generation Next of Nolan Patrick. Um, I agree with you at 8 feet. They're always going to have legal issues, but I'm saying some of the stuff with the black label 10s getting filtered to the wrong people. That is Colville Chuck portraits. I don't feel like that's a good thing to have in the hobby. Young Guns, Rudolph's Balsers. We're playing hockey outside. Wow. Gensel, Canvas. Yeah, why well, I said, I can promise you guys, Joaquim Nygaard, Young Guns. As they keep getting bigger, people are going to start eventually realizing things. I just love having a nice Canadian option, personally. I don't know why people have to choose one or hate the other. Say again, Stars. We got a Gretzky Retro. We've got a Seth Jones Clear Cut. Uh, Stuart, yeah, remind me what team you had. I can maybe give you a quick in my head of uh, what I would recommend. Pure Energy of Line A. But what I always love is before m &T came into the business, basically, is everyone was complaining about, like, certain things about Beckett. So they've been a shad for the Rangers, like, their pricing, delays. And then you have a company come in that is very price efficient, like, nicely. No delays, really. Max Jones, Young Guns. But, okay, let's hate him. It just makes no logical sense to me. Portraits, Rookies of Zadina. If you like saying, I want a new store in town that has more product. Generation next of Colin White. And then a big store comes in and you're going, yeah, but it takes away from the other store. It's like, oh my God, that's what you wanted. The Eisman Messi. Ooh, that's a, that's an iffy one to grade. I would be up and down about that. They really do. That is the number one biggest thing I've seen a million times over. Like, I guarantee, I, I remember when uh, when Upper Deck just released some of the cup images, the amount of people like, 
Cup's going to fail this year. Cup sucks. I'm not ordering any. It's like, oh my god, people. It's going to sell out instantly. It's going to go well. It's going to do great. McDavid anniversary. Portraits of McDavid. Or the people who thought that Lafreniere card wouldn't sell because uh, it's not a hockey picture. Proper hockey picture. Remember that? Young Guns of Lean Bergman. That uh, obviously didn't work out in their favor, did it? All those people saying that the Lafreniere card would not sell at all. Pure Energy of John Tavares. Next, or Generation Next of Verana. But that's, uh, Stu, that's one of those cards. If you want to get it graded, I don't, I, I would, I'm 50-50 I'm on that one. Victor Olafson. One of his five brothers is named Orca. Wow. They obviously love the sea, don't they? We've got a canvas of Stamkos. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Young Guns of Flurry for the Habs. And anyone I've ever seen honestly try to really bash MNT have been PSA or Beckett like loyalists. So there's always reasoning why they're doing it. Makar Portraits. Which I still find weird. If you're dealing with Beckett, then just deal with Beckett. Pure energy of Ryan O'Reilly. Um, because it's in a holder. Generation next of Carter Hart. So it's one of those, should you take it out of it? Should you not take it out of it type of thing? Not a, not the card is not worth it to grade. I would just say the holder. Shooting stars of Sagan. But in fairness, I've seen a lot of people grade Splendor cards uh, over the last like year or two. So I don't think it's that big of a deal anymore. Pure energy of Brent Burns. But it is definitely a caliber of card I'll get graded. We've got a canvas of Kotkin Yemi. Young and Blake Lazat. Canvas of Pekka Rene. Patrick Waugh, Anniversary. Yeah, again, Golden, it's going to happen, right? Portraits of Matthews. And then, of course, what happens when they leave? Oh, I wish we had Panini back. Oh, man, it's like... It's just hilarious how everyone is. Scott Sabrin, Young Guns. Again, I don't think there's a company on the planet that does everything 100% accurate. It's not possible to please every customer. Game jersey of Blake Wheeler. Blake Wheeler jersey. Just not possible. Pure energy of Matthews. Blue shirts, have a good one, sir. Young Guns canvas, Emil Bemstrom. <laughs> We've got a young gun of Kevin Stenlin. Portrait of Brad Marchand. There you go, sir.